say that one more I mean, time. Sh- Can you say that one more time? You you've just given a perspective that I had not thought of. Can you say I that mean, again? It's so obvious. It seems like she's being force fed all of the bad things in the world, all of its mm. bull dung, all of the stuff it doesn't need, all of its waste, just mm. shoving it down there. It's yes. Horrible. Yes. And the thing about it is your thought in the class before this one, we looked at it as it's being sucked out of her and going out. But you're saying it's being forced into her. That does not look like... There is a ladder that is a tube that goes down into her. It's very obvious. Okay. <laughs> very, I think, very good. I think that, I think that um, the ladder, I agree with Alexander. And I also think that she's trying to like tip over the thing to get rid of all of it. Ah, okay. Yeah. And burn it into like the sun right there. Oh, okay. Okay. And get rid of all of it. But the ladder is like all the bad things, like all the people, like all the stuff in her mind. Yeah. That is is pushing it, is pushing it back. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, there are just so many ways to look at this painting. So it seems like Alexander and DJ, you're both kind of talking about some type of a struggle. Could you could you make the painting disappear now? It 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 I'm <laughs> It, it's really messed up. It, it's almost as bad as remembering that tomatoes and bananas are ba- that eating tomatoes and bananas is basically cannibalism. What? Okay, moving on. Alexander. Okay. Did next you know part- that 60% of human DNA is inside of bananas? Okay. That's why. Thank you. Let's, let's stay focused on the point. Thank you for sharing these science facts in a literature lesson. Uh, who else would like to share? You maybe you put that in your science project this week. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, that stone over there kind of looks like a blood moon and yeah. that demon, it kind of looks like it's possessing her. Mm, the what demon? The, which one are you think in the, the skull? Yeah, that one. Okay. Okay. So you wait a minute. So you're not even seeing now. Somebody thought the white circle or the white sphere was the moon and the red circle was the sun but you maybe you're saying the red one is the blood moon yeah what do you think the white one is i don't know i think it looks like the sun to me i like that though i mean the blood moon is one the other one could be the sun yeah wow i love the perceptions okay okay and so now how do those connect what do you think is happening there with the blood moon again um, I think she's getting possessed by a demon from the blood moon. Oh, okay. It, do you, are you connecting a little bit with what Alexander was oh, saying geez. about all of the bad things in the world are being shoved into her? Mm, no. No, okay. You're right. That is a blood moon. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, that does remind me of a blood moon. Yeah. I hadn't thought, I hadn't thought about that either. But doesn't that normally affect animals? Yeah. And creatures i mean technically i guess it does make it easier yeah yeah you 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 made a point point. anybody else i need more thoughts i think it's it's like um is that 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 stuff that like that me is like her hope that she has you feel like the meat represents her hope yes Mm, okay. Yeah, what do you yeah. why why do you think she uses meat to represent hope? Um maybe um I don't really know. Anyone wanna help him understand why he's I'm 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 vibing with you on that. Why does meat represent hope? Well, I don't want to tell what I'm thinking, why that's a symbol of hope. I'll take it. What did you just say? Why is meat a symbol of hope in no, Emmanuel's? Said, 
You said, I don't want to. I don't want to tell you what I'm thinking of why meat could represent hope. Why? Because I want to hear from you. Um, Miss Anika. Yes. I wanted to say something, but it's different from what they were saying. You can say whatever you want, honey. Um, so basically, I was thinking that um, when she was in the bed, I felt like uh, she couldn't move. Mm-hmm. And basically, all the hurt was like the meat and everything. And right. she was looking for help. Hmm. Okay. So she's looking she for was, help. I feel like she was just paralyzed from the yes. hurt because she. I feel like if she could move, it would be in the painting, like trying to get away or something. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes. Yeah. Did you make this painting? In 19, it is called Without Hope. And it was done in 1945, and she died in 1954. Didn't she amputate? Didn't her leg get amputated? Yes, it did. Wait, was this like during it was amputated? Or let's see. Um, I can't remember. I think this is after it was amputated, I believe. Mm. then maybe she can't it's probably showing her pain through all the pain she's been through like you know not being able to walk right thing in the wheelchair and she cannot move like paralyzed like Ema said and the ladder is like holding her down and pushing and holding all the pain and the yeah. meat and stuff stand for the pain in the like those little funnels you use to put gas in yes and that the funnel can be putting all the pain Inside of her, inside of her head and her body and all that. Right, right. I feel like what I have to say kind of connects to that because okay. the ladder—it's like a ladder right there, but it's not going anywhere. Ah. So maybe, maybe it's like giving her a feeling that she can get out of it, but when she tries, she just falls back into the mess. Oh, oh my gosh! Y'all going, y'all going some places with these things. Yes, I. And this is again connecting to this title without hope okay here's a question where is the hope in this picture do you see any hope in this picture no i see no hope in this picture. it looks like either that or it may not even be a blood moon it may just be a giant supernova this whole time what makes you say that because i see that yellow circle around and it looks like um the end of the world is about to happen huh like the what is that is other? Cute. What is that moon over there on the on right here? Right, that's the white only moon. What is that hope skin? looking yeah. thing? That's what I was okay. thinking. Ooh. yeah, yeah. Because, this, yeah, this is no the red sun, the sun or the blood moon is no hope. So this and looks small hope. Is, this looks like hope. Yes, it can be hope, but far away and very small, like little hope. She has little hope, and this is in. All yeah. this is nothing. Oh, the, is that this water? the rest of the picture. Wait, the thing but the thing that's under the moon is that water? Okay, guys, what do you think? It looks like it. There's a little bit of blue there. Um, what is this? Is this water, guys? It looks like it, yeah. All right, Elise, what made you want to point that out, ma'am? I think it, it maybe like, let's maybe. let Elise go and then Emmanuel. Maybe if it is water, it could sing like maybe it means calm because the water looks calm and uh, I don't know what to explain. The water looks like it, like it's very at peace. Okay. Nothing really happening to it. So maybe that's what signifies hope. So this side, maybe one side is hope one side is hopelessness okay let's go with that let's go with that train of thought oh my gosh it's almost time to go y'all last question i'm gonna let you i gotta let you go which side is winning like in this in where where do you think she is i know that this picture is titled without hope does this picture reflect that she really is without all hope she kind of looks like she's on a planet she's like on on a a what different planet um that planet Somebody else said that. Search, searching for water. Yeah. Yeah. So, See okay. under the sun, under the blood sun, it's like rocks and stuff, and there's no water. Right. Okay, guys. I wish we could go on and on. There's so much more to say. Um, but we're gonna have to stop there for today. 
Yeah. And um, gives you a lot to think about with this Frida Kahlo. Mm-hmm. Next month, we will be discussing Native American heritage. We'll do that at the end of the month, next, at the end of the month, the last Thursday of the month, okay? Um, remember, this week's project is science. We did science back to back because I switched the free project to science for September. So it is science this week, Wait, we too. So don't forget that. Um, right? What kind of science? What science are you studying this year? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Chloe's studying science. Are you sure you remember, Lennox? Hey, I was I looking forward 